Before we move to the intermediate drills, we're going to talk about slowing things down so you can actually see what happens. Okay? Now, here's your, 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 your key to technique, the, the $6 uh, house variety broom. And uh, what you're going to do is basically some people who do clinics use a golf club, some people just use a, a pole cut off at the end. But what something like this does is that if, if I were to try to hold the hammer, obviously the wire and ball would fall down and you wouldn't get, I wouldn't have a chance to stop myself um, at the positions. So what we want to do with Jake is we want to have him put the hammer broom in his hand. And again, his feet are both facing me. They're both square to zero. This is the apex or the triangle of the arms that we like to keep long. We take the sternum, the arms, everything is set. Now, what we want to do is we want to determine where is 90 degrees. So we're going to have Jake turn two feet to me over here to 90 degrees. Okay, at 90 degrees, he's still, both arms are long, the ball is at 90, both of his feet are pointing right at me. Now, as a coach, what you want to do at this point is come in here and just give a little gentle tug on the broom. Nine times out of ten in the beginning, you'll pull the athlete right over because he'll have too much weight over his toes. Okay? So at 90 degrees, I give a little tug. Jake's got a little counter right there because he's countering with his feet. That's the 90 degree position of the turns. Okay? Now, as he starts to turn the ball to 180, the foot comes forward, and now the broom or the hammer has risen slightly. Okay, the arms are still long. The right foot down here has come in forward. It didn't come all the way around. And so he's got the catch on the hammer. Okay, we always try to catch at 180 in the drills. In actuality, in the throw, the catch will happen closer to 270. Okay, it's, it's almost physically impossible to catch at 180, but that's where you have to be in your mind, stepping forward, trying to catch at 180. So Jake now has his catch at, at 270. As that happens, the hammer starts to come down to its low point, and now we find him back at zero. At zero this time, though, his foot placement has changed a little bit because he has stepped forward, he has got a lead on the hammer, he's countering a little bit more because the forces are now down here a little bit lower, and as he goes into his second turn, as it comes through 90 this time, the ball is starting to sweep even higher, okay? Even higher. So we, this is the high point, okay? It's like a pendulum on a, on a clock. It has a high point and a low point, and this is what powers the ball. So we have a high point at 180. As the catch comes, it starts to sweep back down to a low point. We like to basically keep the low point in front of you at zero, the high point at 180. Okay? Thank you very much. Okay? So that is a very basic thing that we do. Now, let's imagine the camera is zero and behind me is 180. Okay? So I have it at zero. Now I'm actually turning back into the catch because that's where we pick up the wine. Okay? And then I work on pushing the ball to 90. From the catch, push the ball to 90. Again, this is something I can't do with a hammer. Okay, because I could never hold it in this position. The chin is back, we don't come down like this. We stay down, and whether we're starting on the toe or whether we're starting on the heel, doesn't matter. We go from our catch, the hands pass slightly under the chin to 90 degrees. At 90 degrees, we step forward, the ball goes up on its own. The biggest thing we want to avoid at this point is the athletes using their shoulders. We stress hands, hit the ball. You'll hear me talk out on the field about hitting the ball, striking the ball, pushing the ball, but you'll never hear me say lift the ball, shrug the ball, pull the ball, uh, none of those things because they're, they're, they hurt the, the path of the hammer. So again, can't stress enough. A long ball is a fast ball.